In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to use the Amplitube app with Apple's GarageBand using the new InterApp audio feature in iOS 7. I've got a short piece that started with a GarageBand drum loop, on top of which I added a pair of rhythm guitars, a synth clavinet, and a bass. Right now it sounds like this. Now I'm going to add a lead guitar and I'll use InterApp Audio so that I can tap into the modeling of Amplitube for my guitar sound. Here's a look at my signal flow in this particular InterApp Audio setup. The live audio, guitar in this case, is considered the instrument, Amplitube the effect, and GarageBand the host. So now I'll press the button to add a track and I'll get the window where you can choose the track type. I'm going to scroll until I get to the track type entitled InterApp Audio Apps. Pressing on that gets me to either the effects or instrument list, which shows icons of the compatible instrument or effects apps. You'll see that Amplitube is listed under effects. So I'll press it and I'll get to the audio recorder window. Now see that icon in the upper left corner that looks like a jack? That's the InterApp audio icon. And if I press on that, I get the input settings dialog. Then I'll select the InterApp audio tab and that gets me to where you can choose instruments and effects. In this case, I'll pick Amplitube as an effect. So my guitar is plugged through the iRig Pro Universal Audio MIDI interface. I press the Amplitube icon and it takes me to Amplitube where I can select my rig. I'll choose Slash. This rectangle on the lower left is the InterApp Audio Control Panel, which gives me transport controls for GarageBand and a button to get back into GarageBand. So now that I have the sound chosen, I'm ready to record my guitar part. I can use the transport controls in the InterApp audio window in Amplitube or go back to GarageBand, it's my choice. But here I'll just use them from Amplitube. When I hit record, I get a count off and then away I go, here goes. There at the bottom of the screen is the new lead track. And that's just one example of using Amplitube as an effect in an InterApp audio setup with GarageBand. <laughs> 